Suppose we have a string and we send a progressive wave along it at a certain velocity v. Now we can work out v if we know perhaps the frequency and the wavelength of that, but there are certain things that uh, maybe limit or uh, tell us what uh, the speed of that wave is going to be. And it's really dependent on two factors. Uh, and we can show that quite nicely with uh, a couple of uh, rubber bands. The first thing that really tells us how quickly that uh, wave is going to move is the tension in the spring. And the tenser the spring, the quicker that wave moves along it. The next factor is how heavy those uh, strings are. And if we have something which is very heavy, it's going to vibrate a lot slower than something which is, is very small and can kind of move very quickly. And what we can then look at is the ratio of the mass to the length of that string. Uh, and this mass to length ratio is given the symbol mu. So this symbol mu uh, is measured in uh, kilograms uh, per meter and tension is measured in newtons. And these are somehow linked to the velocity of the wave. What we find is that the velocity is equal to the square root of the tension divided by the mass per unit length. And this tells us how quickly those uh, waves actually travel along that spring. So you can see that the greater the tension, the greater the velocity, and the greater the mass per unit length, the smaller the velocity is going to be because we have a one over that mass per unit length.